Hi friends, my name is Jenna. I'm a traveling aesthetic nurse who practically lives out of a suitcase. My best friend and sister graduated high school, so we surprised her with a trip to Forks, Washington. As the TwiHard fans we are, we just had to visit this beautiful piece of the Pacific Northwest. Come travel with us. Hi friends, welcome back to yet another vlog. This one is really near and dear to me. It has something to do with my little sister who's graduating high school this, this um, actually in two days. We're surprising her. This is our little gift for her. We're gonna surprise her with a trip for the weekend to Forks, Washington. Both Lou, her, and I, I mean obviously like our whole family are huge Twilight fans um, and we always wanted to go to Forks so that is gonna be her graduation gift is a trip to Forks um, so yeah I am so excited to do this crazy surprise um, and I will take you guys along on the adventure see you at the airport how are you feeling uh, tired. <laughs> are you ready to graduate no <laughs> my eyes are puffy are you ready for your speech? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't really feel like it's been a few four years of high school yet. Yeah. It's your own marble blip. Huh? It's your own marble blip. blip. I don't want that. <laughs> I don't even care. Wait for Gaga. Don't light the whole house on fire. You. The plant is your hint. <laughs> it should be obvious. 40 to 60 degrees. It should be obvious. It's the plant. So our flight leaves at 6 in the morning tomorrow. We have to leave here. <laughs> We planned this for months. And we've been, months. Yeah, we've been, been planning bad. this since January, dude. Been this, since January. <laughs> 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 we're going to bed as soon graduation. No way. I'm going to text him right away. I don't believe <laughs> You know who's all coming? Emma, do you know who's all coming? Boss, boss. No, who's all coming? Uh, it's a girls trip, yeah. so me, you, Gaga, Ella. Nila, Ella, <laughs> oh, yeah, Ella and mom. Yes. Is Ella going to go? Yeah. Yeah. You'll yeah. find out at the airport. Oh, Unless you can piece Mobile. together the, the clues. <laughs> well, you guys know I want to go to Georgia for the Vampire Diaries. And you also know I want to go to Washington and Oregon. Wait, you don't want to go see the office? For Twilight. Yeah. Sorry, Mr. Mendoza. 
or that you can even join a team meeting while on the beach and no one would even know. But when we really think about what the pandemic did to us, it showed us to never take things for granted, to always hug your loved ones because you never know. Each of us has a different path we are taking after today. Whether you're going straight to work, school, or into the military, do it with the same passion and work ethic you have applied the last few years. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 says, For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Thank you. morning after graduation, we woke up incredibly early to catch our flight to Seattle. Only when we got in line for security did we reveal where Emma was headed. Only my brother might have spoiled it the night before. I guessed it. This is the first guess I had. During our flight, the pilot told us all that we had a beautiful view of Mount Rainier and then after seeing it, we just had to go back to sleep. When we got to SeaTac, we headed right to our rental car and then of course had to get something to eat for breakfast. We went to Pancake Chef, which is a little vintage diner that was established in 1953. Then we were in for a long road trip to Forks. Listen y'all, Stephanie Meyer skipped the four hour drive in her book. It was long, but the views were out of this world. As we got closer, it looked more and more like the movies, so we had to start listening to the soundtrack. Our first stop was the Forever Twilight Collection, and here I had one more surprise for Emma. Oh my gosh! We met up with one of her friends she hadn't seen in years. <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! This museum is full of actual props and costumes from the film. I could have spent hours staring at everything because there were so many details here. What I didn't expect here was Chuck Esme, the original prop doll used in Breaking Dawn. I have never been more thankful for CGI. Next on our tour is going to be the Native Twilight store. You might think, why a store? Just go. Go! I'm having such a hard time deciding what I want because everything's amazing. I got this one. Mom's buying me. Really? Yeah. Oh, I like that. Sure. I like this one, but it's $55. Well, I'm Just over the Just do it. She's a bad influence. There's stickers and postcards. So. As you check out, you get to sign the massive guest book. The next stop was the Chamber of Commerce. 
fun fact, did you know Forks once got 12 feet of rain in a year? Parked in front of the office are Bella's trucks from the book and the movie. I would strongly suggest heading into the office as there are more props and collector's items to look at, as well as a map full of pins from all of their visitors. When I say this is a sight, y'all. Oh no, it is blocked. As we left, I felt like we were being followed. <laughs> In the afternoon, we went to the Quilouette Reservation. Hold up, something's missing here. That's better. As we drove along the coast, I don't know why, but Emma and I just got so emotional seeing La Push for the first time. See all the fishing boats are. And this is where you eat. For dinner, we went to River's Edge Restaurant. This is easily the best food in the area, so definitely go here if you ever need to eat. Say it out loud. <laughs> we took a lovely hike through the forest to get to Second Beach. I would highly, highly recommend coming here if you can. Though beautiful, this hike is pretty long, so we started to get a bit delirious. This is like freaking Minecraft when you're right next to, to another <laughs> terrain. <laughs> they, we hey. just made up our own language. So they, we're uchi, the coochies. The uchi, <coughs> and now we add uchi at every uchi single end of the sentence. <laughs> they uchi. uchi leave us uchi. That means they left. Sus uchi. Sus uchi. Come on, uchi. So long, the views at the end of the hike were just magnificent.
On our way back into town, we stopped at Three Rivers Resort where the treaty line is. We stopped for celebratory dessert at the Inn Place. Our stay for the next two nights was Forks Motel, and actually this was a really nice place to stay. So this hotel is way nicer than we thought it would be. It's a motel, we were expecting just like the, the basic of basics, but it's got nice mirror and nice bathroom. Somehow Twilight was playing on the TV. It was literally 8pm at this point, but we could not sleep. Look at all that light! <laughs> You got me. <laughs> sugar, the sugar rush is kicking in. And in case you're wondering, I did buy the sweatshirt. The next morning, we went to a coffee shop called Mocha Motion, and then we planned our day. We all hopped into the car to go to the Hull Rainforest. Let's just say we kept ourselves entertained. In the middle of the ride to the rainforest is the Hard Rain Cafe, so we grab breakfast here. Day two. I'm editing all my pictures from day one. <laughs> The Hull Rainforest is one of the most incredible places on the planet, especially the Hall of Mosses. Here in the heart of the rainforest is home to trees up to a thousand years old. It truly puts into perspective just how small we really are and reminds you that all life has a purpose, even the tiniest forms. continue on, it feels as if you've been transported into a world of fantasy. And eventually, you start to wonder where the Ewoks and dinosaurs are. We could not get enough, so we headed to the spruce trail that takes you to the river.
that life is so incredible. I admired this fallen tree whose roots spurred new growth. After a wonderful adventure, we went back to Forks because there were a few more Twilight stops on our tour. Then we headed back to La Push, passing by Jacob's house, to Olympic National Park and Rialto Beach. Rialto Beach is made up of black sands and it is almost as beautiful as Second Beach. We spotted a few bald eagles soaring above us. We decided to hike to the Tooth Cliff, which is deceivingly far. Along the way, we sparked a sea otter, and then we eventually made it to the cliff. I don't want a mile for this. For dinner, we ate Pacific pizza and then got one last sleep in before saying goodbye to Forks, its vampires, and werewolves. Next stop, Seattle. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you there soon.